The match formula is one of the most useful Excel formulae that you've never heard of. Let's take a look. Now you're probably spending a lot of time with spreadsheets, looking through tables, looking through columns of information. What will be really helpful for you and what's really helpful for me is understanding formulae that help you to instantly extract information from tables and from data. Now Match is going to help you do that. Let's have a look at how it works. Okay, this is what we're starting with. This is the Tiger spreadsheet class spreadsheet. We can see student names, their marks and the grades that they've received. Now there's a few formulae to help you extract data from a table. Two formulae that are worth looking at are VLOOKUP and OFFSET, so do take a look at those videos too. We're going to try to use the MATCH formula to look in this list and give us the rank of the student who is named here. So in other words, we'll be able to change the student in this cell and the rank will automatically appear in this cell. So how can we use MATCH to help us do that? Let's have a look at the components of the match formula. As you can see, there are three components. The first is the lookup value. So this is the cell that contains the value we want to locate. What match is doing is taking a particular value, looking for that value in a range of values, and then telling you how far across that range of values your value is. Now that all sounds really confusing, but it will become clear. The second component we need is the lookup array. The word array is a kind of posh word for range. So here we're going to tell Excel the range of cells to look in for our value. Component three is the match type. Here we can specify if we want an exact match or if we want another type of match. This is usually set to exact match, so we're going to set it to zero. OK, so let's try to put those components into action and build the match formula here. So we're going to start with equals match and open bracket. As usual, Excel is giving us prompts, so it's asking what information it needs. We can see lookup value is in bold, so it's asking us for the lookup value. This is the cell that locates the value that we want to Excel to find in a list of values. So that cell is here, D7. So I'm just going to click on D7. And as you can see, D7 has appeared in the formula. So then hit the comma key, and you will notice that lookup array is now in bold. So Excel is asking for the second part of the formula, the lookup array. Now, if you remember, this is the range of cells that we want Excel to look in to find the value that we've specified. So the range is the long list of students here. So I'm going to click on the first cell of the range and hold the mouse button and go all the way around to the all the way down to the bottom cell and then release the mouse button. And as we can see, our range has appeared in the formula. Then we hit the comma again and Excel has moved on to the third component, the match type. We're going to set this to exact match because we know that whatever value is in this cell definitely appears in the range that we've specified. So we can set this to exact match. Then we're going to close the brackets and hit the return or the enter key. And let's see what happens. OK, so the formula has returned a value of seven. And we can count down this list. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, and the formula seems to be working well because student 10 is ranked number seven in the list. Let's just test the formula. So let's try student three. This should return a value of five. Okay, good. So the formula seems to be working well. So that's the match formula. If you get good at it, it will save you time and it will impress your colleagues. OK, so that's the match formula. I hope you're able to understand, hope you're able to follow the video. Now, I'd be really interested to know how you're applying the match formula in your work. So if you're watching on YouTube, 
why don't you leave a comment in the comments section or you can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter and you can see on the screen now links to other videos in this series. So good luck with your spreadsheets, keep going, I'll see you on the next video.